So Survivor Series, there's two stipulations on Team Cena versus Team of 40. If Team of 40 loses, Team of 40 disbands. And then we got the shitty ass, not the shitty ass, but okay, it's shitty ass and stupid and because you know, they got the whole, if Cena's team loses, they get fired. Oh my God. Oh my God, John Cena getting fired. Like they haven't done that like five, six, seven, eight, nine freaking times already. It's a fucking joke now. No one's gonna take this seriously. No one takes it seriously now either. Every time they do a John Cena gets fired match, you know it was like, fuck. You know you'll see him next week or the day after in some stupid bullshit storyline that like, says like, oh, he fucking kissed a leprechaun and got his wish to get hired back. I don't know, some shit. Seriously, every time they do a John Cena getting fired bullshit storyline, no one believes this shit anymore. Well, the marks do. They're going to be going this side. He's like, oh my God, John Cena might get fired. Holy shit, we got to watch. Because, you know, they're marks. But, you know, the real fans who are not, who are not marks, we just know, oh, wow, John Cena might get fired. whoop de doo oh my God. So much friction. Yo, oh. It's like in TNA when they did the whole Kurt Angle's retiring bullshit storyline. No one gave a shit in the end. They kept on doing it like so many times. Oh, but now this is different. There's like five guys on the team and they can all get fired. Newsflash, if John Cena is in that team, yes, he may lose the match, but you know fucking well that he's gonna show up to next day on Raw, because they're not going to lose their moneymaker, super fucking Cena. Yeah, they're not just going to let him go. It's like, oh, it's like, we got to get rid of him for a week. They're, no, they're not going to do that. John Cena doesn't do that. He just doesn't give people, like, a breath of fresh air to breathe. Hulk Hogan left in, like, 90s. And he gave people a breath of fresh air. I don't know, if, can't remember if it was forced or not, or he just wanted to do it because he was tired. But even Hulk Hogan knew he was getting tiring and had to leave. But no, John Cena has to be there all the goddamn time. God. And another thing about Survivor Series. Is there even a point to having a Survivor Series anymore? There's two Survivor Series elimination matches in there. The main one and the Divas. Oh my God, Divas get a fucking match. Yes, I'm saying that because I can't stand the divas of today who can't worse work a shit. But who's in this match? Hold on a sec. Who's in this fucking stupid thing? It's like we got the divas of elimination match. We got Layla. <laughs> Paige. She at least she can work out of the bunch. Cameron. Uh, Summer. Ray. Oh God, Summer Ray. Fuck. Versus. Alicia Fox is back. Oh, who else? Natalia. At least you got two women that can actually work, but they're on different sides. Natty Nightheart. I'm going to call her that. I'm not going to call her by her slave name. Natalia. Natty Nightheart. Naomi. Oh, my God. Is it Naomi or Cameron that got kicked off the first season of Tough Enough for... Some stupid shit. I forget. I can't remember. Who cares? And Emma. Well, I gotta say Emma's at least decent. But back to what I was saying. Is there a point to having Survivor Series at all? Since the main focus of the show, pay-per-view, was to have Survivor Series matches in every goddamn match. That was the entire point of it. You have enough people on the roster to make a bunch of Survivor Series elimination matches. That's the whole point of Survivor Series. Not just two and then like have a battle of wits with every other person who must survive. Give the mid-carders or something to do on a pay-per-view. It's Survivor Series. People were supposed to be put on there just for fuck's sakes because it's called Survivor Series. 
When was the last time we had a full Survivor Series match card that actually had, from top to bottom, like at least, say, four Survivor Series matches? Last one I can remember is like when, uh, what was it, the one where 2000, when Kurt Angle just debuted? Or before that, one of the, one, during that timeline. And before that, we had a bunch of Survivor Series matches. Deadly Game Tournament. I like that because it was like a tournament surviving. I gotta say, they kind of cheated on that, but it was still cool to watch. But now, every time Survivor Series comes along, they just put one main match and just say, fuck it. And then they put on a Divas match. Occasionally, they may put a triple threat elimination match, like they did Survivor Series that one time. Or they put the Elimination Chamber. But that's... Come on. Survivor Series has to have at least... Survivor Series Tag Team Elimination Matches. That was the whole point of the show. I don't know. Maybe I'm just going off on a tangent. What do you guys think? By the way... I moved my desk around. So that's why you can't see the back of my apartment. If those of you who care. Because like... Yeah, I just moved it around. Because... Why not? Anyways, what do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think of Survivor Series. Anyways, Humanoid Freak out. Bye.